Okay, so we have two minutes on calvarium clamps. That is this guy. So, the calvarium is the top part of your skull that goes over your brain. When you are autopsied, this part of your skull is cut and removed out. This part here is removed out. It is done so they can examine your brain, remove the brain, look at the brain stem, kind of check everything out. However, when we put a person back together, we have to make sure that that piece of the skull locks into place. Because if the body's moved around, it can pop out of place and you can get this like bump on the forehead or the head can be askew like this. It doesn't look good. So we have to put, make sure that that calvarium is locked to the base of the skull. So these are one way to do it. So you basically put the top part of the calvarium here and the bottom of the skull would be seated here. And you just screw with a screwdriver and tighten it up and it pulls it and locks it together. You would do one on each side. Sometimes people do a few of them. It can make a little bump on the outside of the skin. You can maybe see it, but typically hair will cover that. Sometimes embalmers will use other materials like um, they'll suture, like drill holes in the skull and suture the skull pieces together. I know some that use polygrip to lock it together, caulk, different things that will keep that skull, the calvarium and the base together. But this is a calvarium clamp, which is one tool that an embalmer uses.